Hello and welcome to Buzz Plays. In my previous episode I showed you guys how to make a uh, contagious uh, explosive and also an EMP explosive. Uh, if you haven't seen that episode uh, please go and have a look, the link is in the description for you. In this episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a theoretical elementizer, uh, something like that. Anyway, basically it gives you a chance of creating uh, three special items, um, although one of them's not in the game anymore, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, basically, it allows you to make um, Steve's watch, I believe it is. So let's have a look at that. So you got Steve's uh, Steve's stopwatch, which I'm not sure what it does, and also the weather control, I believe. It's yeah, that one, the weather orb. Uh, it also lets you make a lightning rod, but the lightning rod doesn't seem to be in the game at the moment or has been taken out. I'm not sure which one of the two it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make those. Um, now, I think it was in my last episode I showed you guys how to create the electric bow and I said that it wasn't working properly um, because it didn't seem to be using any electric. Now this is because I figured out what it was. If I shift and right click, it puts the fire mode on. So if we head down just to where the skeletons are, and hopefully we have some arrows. Yep, you can see there actually sets them on fire, um, which is using the electric on it, on the actual bow itself. So that's all good, um, and that's all working as intended. Now what I'm also going to do uh, towards the end of this episode, if I've got time, is I will run around and find some wool off of... Um, sheep obviously and I'll be creating a hazmat suit as I'm going to start going off to try and find some uranium um, so that I can get a fusion reactor uh, or a particle accelerator up together um, I'm not sure which one of the two I'm going to make yet but we'll have a look uh, probably in the next episode at that um, so let's get the um, theoretical elementizer however you say it um, up and running. So let's have a look for it. It's just there. So what we need for this is we're going to need a block of diamond, uh, some enriched alloys and some glass. So it's not going to be too expensive to make. So we, let's get the enriched alloys first. So we need redstone and iron ingots. So let's go into our chest here. Uh, let's grab the stuff we need. So we need diamonds, we need iron ingots and we need redstone. I've also gone off and found some osium think that's how you say it. It's basically what platinum used to be um, and I noticed that when they put this new stuff in it got rid of all my platinum so I went off got some more um, so that's why we've got some of this here now. Uh, also going to grab some obsidian and chuck it into the... which one does it go into? Is the enrichment chamber? So I want to make some dust, um, some obsidian dust so I got some of that while I was out on my travels as well, but I can't remember which it is. Yeah, it's the opposite. So let's chuck some of that into there. So we'll let that build up. So yeah, let's, uh, so we've got the diamonds and everything. So we need four enriched alloys. So it's the redstone in the middle. No, it's not. It's uh, iron ingots in the middle and redstone on the outside of that. So let's get the redstone on the outside and that's our four enriched alloys there. So now we've got the enriched alloys we're going to need a diamond block so let's uh, use up our precious diamonds and make a diamond block and we also need some glass. Where's our, there's our glass. So let's put all this together to make our theoretical itemizer, elementizer um, so basically it's the enriched alloys in the four corners, the glass into like the diamond and then a block of diamond in the centre. And there it is there. So let's put that into our toolbar. Um, now our battery box here, here is a bit buggy for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why but hey ho. So I'm going to want to put this somewhere safe but somewhere where we can get electric to it. So I reckon we can put it probably here or here. 
So let's put this down here. Um, and what should we put over here? So that I want to put it somewhere where hopefully it won't, this won't destroy it. No, that's good. Let's stick it here, and then hopefully the cable goes. Power cable goes into it. Uh, status is off, but it's got power. Now what we need to do here is we put diamonds, I believe, into the bottom and uh, enriched alloys into the top. So if we stick another if we make another two enriched alloys and come back over to the machine and stick the enriched alloys on the top and then two diamonds on the bottom here we go, you see it's working um, and we can see what happens and hopefully it will create a cool item. So we've got Steve's stopwatch so let's see what else it makes if anything it might make the weather orb, which would be quite nice. And the weather orb. So let's see if it makes anything else, because uh, it says a possibility of making. So it's quite strange that it's giving me them straight away. I mean, I ain't going to complain, but. Oh. So, which alloy? And which alloy on top? So let's just quickly see how this does. What this does? Uh, probably make another one of these. To be fair, but yeah, it just makes another one. So let's put these into our toolbar and see what they actually do. So this is Steve's uh, stopwatch, which we can actually change the time of day. So this would be quite nice. So we can go. If we close that, stand outside. Now you can see it's daytime. Um, so if we right click and go midnight, uh, there you go, it's midnight. Now, for some reason, my hand is spazzing out, but hopefully that'll stop. So it's now midnight. If we right click, can we do it? Ah, okay. So it's actually used the all the power in the stopwatch. So it's obviously recharging. So let's grab the other one we made and let's make it sunrise. Here we go. And sunrise. So that's quite good. That's going to be quite handy for uh, if we need to do something during the day. And let's have a look at the weather orb. Let's see what this does. So if we right click on that, we've got clear, storm, haze, and rain. So let's stick it on, what one should we do? Let's do proper storm. So again, it's charging, but nothing's happening with the weather. Okay, well, that one's a bit of a fail, but never mind. So, should be storming now so unless it happened in a minute but at the moment it's just clear so there you go we've got our two special items i thought it might give us something else um but obviously not but they're quite they're two cool items that um we can use um but while i'm at it let's uh see about making some hazmat suits so we're going to need some more um wool so let's go and see if we can find some wool quickly now I know I've seen some uh, sheep down here, or one sheep, so let's go down and get that sheep. Oh, jump down there. Now I really should uh, try and make this a bit more safer. Oh, break my legs. And find the sheep, share the sheep. So there's three wool. Uh, I believe I have 15 already. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18. Let's grab some more. And this is three white. Five. Let's grab that bit there. Let's just grab some more just to be on the safe side. While we're here. There we go. So let's head back up and see about making some hazmat suits.
Will a hazmat suit quickly? So just climb back up the hill. And oh, crap! So let's just dig this out. And let's replace the bits. So that we don't get attacked. There we go. So let's run over. Really quickly. And in we go. Right, so to start making off the hazmat suits anyway, um, we need some leather boots leather legs, leather chest and also a leather ha helm or uh, cap. So let's grab our leather that we've got and let's quickly make those. So feet is obviously uh, left and right side. Uh, cap is the hat shape. Chest is every single square apart from the middle or top. And then the legs are like a leg shape. So there's the uh, starting blocks anyway for our hazmat suit. We also going to need four basic circuits. So let's go and grab the bits, the bronze we need for that. So we're going to need, are we going to have enough materials? Oh yeah, we should do. Uh, so we need four bronze plates. Uh, we need our cables. So there we go. So cables into the four corners. So I have to make some more of that. I'm also going to have to go and find some redstone at some point. Those are four basic circuits. So now if we start creating the uh, hazmat suit and then we can end this episode here. So the basic circuit on all of them, I believe, goes into the bottom, uh, bottom slot. Um, let's actually grab the rest of our wall, which is in here. There we go. Um, so yeah, um, let's do the legs first. So legs into the centre square. So they all go into the centre square, basically. Uh, and then our wall goes along the top and then around two bottom bit, uh, bottom right and left corners. And there's our hazmat legs. There's our feet. Our chest. And our helm. So there's our hazmat suit. So let's have a look what cloud looks like with this on. So it's going to get dark because of having the night vision come off. So there's our hazmat suit. So we should now be able to hold the uranium with no problems. Uh, as soon as I find some, I do need to try and find some first. Um, so in my next episode, I'll probably make a centrifuge. Um, I believe that's what it's called anyway. Um, and hopefully we can then, I can then go and find some uranium and uh, start getting all that up together for our fusion reactor. So thanks for watching this episode anyway. Uh, please rate and subscribe, uh, it does help me out. Uh, I usually release my videos on a Thursday and a Tuesday, or Tuesday and Thursday. Um, and yeah, again, thanks for watching, um, and I'll speak to you all next time.